everybody, Steve here from Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Alex and I wanted to do something a little different this week, and we hope that after you see what we do, you'll join in and make something that tells the world what your town, your state, or your country means to you. Here's the challenge. Make something that really represents your home to you. But really think about it. Don't just make a map or build a model of a famous landmark where you live. What is really special about your hometown? For instance, when I think of San Francisco, the thing that comes to mind the most are the people and all of the different cultures that live in one city. Find out what I made to represent that theme by clicking my video over here. But first, let's find out what England means to Alex. Hey, thanks Steve. So as some of you might know, the English have a particular fondness for their tea. So as strange as it might sound, that's actually what I'm going to base my project on. And what better to represent that theme than a tea tray? <laughs> This tray is made out of walnut and there's some great veneer work on the top which absolutely anybody will be able to do. So I'll be the first to admit that this is not actually an English flag but I think you'll agree that it does look a lot cooler this way. I'm going to begin the veneering with the St George's Cross and so I've got some nice mahogany veneer for this which I got online and I'm going to start out by cutting the strips which I need. And now it's just a matter of gluing those down into place with a good amount of clamping pressure. So I'm carefully cleaning up the squeeze out before it dries. I'm using a few pieces of masking tape to pull the veneer against the other piece to get a nice tight joint. Next I'm gluing in the white sections of the flag and I'm using maple for that. With the first piece of maple in place, the next thing that I want to do is to glue in a piece for the St. Patrick's Cross and so I've cut this little strip of the same mahogany and I just need to cut out an area to glue that in. With a chisel I'm just gently lifting the veneer away. I've just gone ahead and cut the taper onto this end and that seems to be fitting in there quite well so it's just a matter of gluing this into place now. There we go, now we've got the what would be the red and white sections done so all I've got left to do are the little triangles. Again I'm cutting away the veneer which I don't need and I'm going to set in some black walnut for the little triangles. Now that I've finished veneering the top, I'm veneering the underside with some plain black walnut. This will not only make the underside look a lot nicer, but it will also provide equilibrium to the panel. I'm giving the veneer work a very gentle sand now just to smooth out the joints a little bit. I'm about to cut this panel down to its final size and just to prevent too much splintering when I'm cutting I've put a piece of masking tape around the edge. So I have the sides of the trays milled up out of some walnut and so what I want to do next is to cut a dado into the bottom edge of these pieces so that the plywood base can sit in there. I'm 
I'm going to be using mitre joints for the corners because I think it gives a nice clean look to the tray and I'm going to cut those at the table saw with my mitre sled. So all of the mitres have been cut now but just before I go ahead and glue everything together I want to cut a couple of handles into the ends to make this easier to pick up. I start by drilling two holes to establish the ends of the handle and now using a coping saw I'm cutting away the rest of the material. And after a bit of filing and a quick chamfer at the router table the handles are done. And just before I glue everything together I'm giving the sides a quick sand because it will be a lot easier to do this now than it will be once everything's together. With the glue dry, I'm chamfering the edges. And I'm giving the tray a final sand before finishing. For the finish, I'm using spray lacquer, although varnish will work well also. Really, you just want something that's going to provide a bit of protection to the tray. Now it's your turn. We want to see how you represent your hometown or state or even country. Get creative. Really think about what it means to live where you live. Then take a picture of what you've made and post it on Twitter or Facebook or even make a video and post it to YouTube. This isn't a contest or anything, but we just thought it would be fun to see what everybody comes up with. In reality, this doesn't have to be a tea tray. It could just be a serving tray, but I think you'll agree it's a bit more English if it's a tea tray. <laughs> had a lot of fun doing this collaboration with Steve and I really hope that you guys will get involved as well. Before you go be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Take care everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.